welcome to the TV Music Network Podcast with Phyllis and Belinda. I'm Belinda. And I'm Phyllis. And today we're going to talk about The Voice. This is The Voice. This is The Voice. Season 21. Oh my God. When you Where say 21. Where did that happen? How did, did that, that happen? Go? Where did the time go? Okay, well what happened was they do two seasons a year. Yes. And this is the first time. In the history of The Voice, if we can do, if we can say something like that, that they're only doing one season this year. So it'll be September, which it just premiered a couple of weeks ago, and then the next September is when we'll have season twenty-two. I think, apparently, I think that's going to be a good thing. Yeah, because we talked about it in past um, podcasts, right? And we've talked about it, and after a while, we were doing like. Season after season, and yeah. it was getting really, really worn yeah. out on it. And not and then, that the talent wasn't right. good. And then we're talking about it on and off casually right now, and we're like, it doesn't feel like the first episode of season 21. Yes. It feels like the eighth or ninth episode of 21 already. And I don't already. Know why. And I feel like the last two seasons, and, and may, I may feel that way because. We weren't there live. We were basically watching it from right. home. Right. We did live but virtual. the things. last two seasons actually had some really, really good talent. And I think we talked about this before. I think the reason why they had, I should say, better talent. That's probably a rude word to say. No disrespect to any previous seasons. I think it's because, because of the pandemic, they were able to have more experienced right. contestants yeah. on the show. And because I mean by experienced it's contestants. It's like one or two highlights per season. And here yeah. it was like a handful. We had a handful. More because than two. Maybe two handfuls of good there's talent. The tours got canceled. People don't like, I mean, I shouldn't say good. Let's say experience. Because we usually have, you watch The Voice, seasoned. there's seasoned. That's the word. Seasoned. There's some people that, you know, she's 15. She's been singing since she was eight. And it's like at the church, at the fair, in the coffee shop. And not like on the road where yeah, we saw and some I'm people. Like, back in three years. Yeah, in the last two seasons that had, you know, previous record deals. They were on cruise ships. They toured, right. you know, Europe. And then they all came back. And they were able to, you know, they put out records. They were able to be on the show. So I felt that way with the last two years. Right. But here we are. So Blake is the current champion. Yeah. Because he won season 20 with Cam Anthony, who I really enjoyed. He was yeah. the guy I was and pushing for. Yeah, and I really for. hope something happens with Yeah, him. and I don't know what's happening with him. I've been following his Instagram. I don't know, on the music side. So I need to do a follow-up soon because I would like to really see him be successful. And Blake really spoke out about how successful this guy could be. Right. And no one need to push the button. Like, he was really going to push for him. And when he was doing his, his last interviews, Blake was like, no, you need to be contacting me next. We need to stay on it. You know, stay on it. You know, I know you're going to Disney World on a trip and all that. We need to make sure you stay yeah. on it and all that. And then the runner-ups. Just make sure that happens. The top five people, I don't know anything's happening with them. I follow I all of them on social them. Well, there we go. So I follow all of them on social media. You can't even name the runner-up? No. Who was the runner-up? It was Kelly's guy, Kinsey. The country guy, everybody, everybody thought was going to oh, win except me. the young boy. Yeah, everybody okay. was so scared of this guy. I'm like, he's not going to win, <laughs> you know. I'm not saying, I didn't think he was going to win. He could have easily won, but. The Blake machine was strong, and Cam was a They were strong, strong, but you just didn't know. Were they going to oh, no. go for this guy? You know, I don't really know, but anyway. Kelly won with that other guy that was just like, you know, him like 10 years yeah, later. Yeah, so yeah. That, that probably hurt Kelly. Yeah. I don't really know, but anyway. I love about Cam Anthony. We'll, we'll, we'll follow up on a, on a future podcast when we find out what the top five are, are doing. Um, and we'll go from there. But anyway, let's talk about this season. So yeah. now we have a new coach. Yes, Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Grande means large. <laughs> we all know. Made sure you knew that. Yeah, and, and it's like um, she never heard that joke before. Yeah, I like what she said. I never That's heard that funny. joke before. So as, as usual, when there's a new coach on there, the producer team go out of their way. Yeah, because to overhype the new coach, they have to justify the thirteen to seventeen million dollars they spent to get this person. They have to justify it. Rumor has it was twenty, but I don't know. Um, what did Katy Perry? Because Katy Perry's still reading it, running around. Is Katy twenty twenty five? Get Katy Perry on the phone. Anyways, get her <laughs> land on the phone. Katy, yeah, sure. I can't remember She'll what that exact. I can't remember what that exact rumor was. I knew I she know. confirmed that something. But she's the, like, I got it was paid. like rumor that she's like, I got paid more than anybody else. And it was like the best. And that and that's all she up. said. And that yeah. lets you know those rumors were true. Anyway, um, I, I, rumor had it Ariana got $20 million. Whether she got $20 million, I really don't know. Okay, if she got that, then that means that the other people had that much too. Or just as much. 
And so then you add all that up. 20 times 4 is $80 million just on The Voice. Well, I think Kelly's was 14 or 8. Yeah, but 14 you or have something. to add in her universal money, her talk yeah, money. Yeah, something like that came out when she was getting divorced. So that's how that actually got officially oh. came out, unfortunately, which is sad. Somebody. But, yeah, but that was how it came out because they had to list all this stuff. But anyway... Drama. I don't know what they make or what uh, Ariana got paid, but they over, over, over hyped the coach. And I know the whole idea was that they wanted to get someone younger. They had Nick, yeah. you know, and we really haven't had a young, younger. I shouldn't say young. No, younger. we had Miley. Yeah, but I'm saying you really you don't see that much. Normally on these reality shows, they usually have the coaches, and all the coaches are like an average of like you know, 38, so, you know, 40-something or whatever. Yeah, and they're trying to get um, the younger demo. And they're trying to get the younger demo. They try it every year. They try it with Nick Jonas. And with Ariana Grande, yeah, she's work. got a really, really huge fan base. Yeah. She's got a large fan base. The question is, many... is her fan base going to be watching The Voice every week and just loving her, enjoying her, seeing her tweeting? Or are they going to be voting for whoever she puts through? Because that's where the difference comes. Where, because like Shakira came in with this huge fan base, and had all, you know, more than all the coaches put together, and it didn't translate in, in votes. But she was an international star. That is true. And I don't know if half her international that fan is base true. Were, were able to watch The Voice. You mean um, Shakira? Shakira? Yeah. Well, I know online when the premiere started, Ariana fans were, like, freaking out. Well, some of them, I should say all of them. I don't even read anything. Some, some of them were, were very upset because they weren't going to get the show. They were trying to get someone to live stream it and trying to work out the technicalities of all different countries oh, yeah. and different stuff and everything else. And one girl was like, I'll bootleg it and put it on. But NBC or someone took the bootleg down. The girl yeah, was mad. And <laughs> some of these people don't understand, like, ratings and, you know. Yeah. Some and people don't understand. They're just fans <laughs> and, and they're loyal. Broadcast, <laughs> yeah, they don't. Streaming, they don't really get versus, it. Versus yeah, streaming copyright. versus ratings, copyrights. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of stuff that people it just don't understand. They're diehard fans. They don't I get it. Funny. My favorite, whatever, was when this girl called me up. I won't even say the name of the band. Uh, this girl called up. We we're booking a show. This girl name called up band. and she said hi. And she was from Japan. And she said, I said hi. What do you need? She goes. I need to get the blueprints to the place. I'm like, the blueprints? Because I'm coming for the show and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, the blueprint? You mean the layout of the place? He says, yes. Because she needs to figure out where the interest was, the out interest and all that stuff. And where been. And she was... Keanu Reeves? Yes. (laughs) Keanu Reeves, the dog star. And she was so serious. I remember that, yeah. And I was like, maybe it's a translation problem, whatever. So we told her, you know, we couldn't give her the blueprints. And she hung up. So we forget about it. Months later, it's the day of the show. We're there. She He's comes in, she, she comes in with the translator person to walk around and score everything in because she was, she's called for the blueprints. She was there. She wanted to do a full sweep. It's like, you can't come in the venue. Keanu's not here. That's the best. You can't come in the venue. That's and she best. said, no, I need to get all the areas and the corners and everything else. And we're trying to explain to her. Very nice and sweet. She had gifts and everything. And she just was like... No, I came from Japan, and this is what I'm doing. Oh and we're God. like, no, this is not what you're doing. You need to stay <laughs> away, and all that. And then she was like, and then they, then, she, oh, then she came back with other people, and they were like bringing gifts and gifts. One, well, no, how can they coordinate the gifts and what time he was coming? And I'm like, so oh, they wanted an unofficial meet and greet. <laughs> yeah, wow, it was unofficial meet and greet or whatever. And they want to know like what? And then the funniest part when they let people in, they were like. Everybody get ready to go in. Everybody be walk slowly, be very polite. And then the announcer person said, and Keanu Reeves is to your stage left. And everybody, <laughs> you know, whatever it was like, yeah. But people really don't get it. Yeah. And and Ariana's fans. Yeah. They're very passionate. Yeah, the girls. She, yeah, they didn't get it. They were like, you guys are very, very mean. You're very, very rude. I'm not very rude. You just think I'm, like, I'm not being rude. Yeah. yeah. And they just don't get it. You know, there's like, passes to go backstage. There's like so many people can come back at a certain time. There's yeah. areas that are for like personnel only and they're That's just like, funny. I'm here. I don't understand why I'm being so told no. Ariana fans. So some of them were doing that same thing. And, yeah. and what, they, what I think is good is that the show has At least they were talking about it. Yeah. They were passionate. They were talking about it. And they I also noticed audience. that they were on social media. They were on YouTube making comments, Facebook making comments, Twitter making comments. They were very, very strong and vocal. 
But Did there is they, a live audience. Yeah. They, they're they no longer on the TV screens at home. So yeah. they had a live audience come in. They did their rounds and whatever. And it looks like a lot of her fans are there because they make point to show her, like, waving yeah, and tell. being nice and everything. And yeah, and Blake's been making comments about, can we get a new audience? Oh, yeah. I guess obsessed with her. Yeah, obsessed with her. So I think that's what they're, I think they're overdoing it a bit. But I noticed that the first week, it's the first episode saying they were really overdoing it. And then by the second doing. episode, they kind of just stopped, or they were saving it for the third episode. I don't know. For her to get her groove back, then the fourth episode was all about her trying to figure out the block and all that stuff. But I think I she came in, okay, she can sing. Yeah. There's no doubt this woman can sing. And mm-hmm. She's one of the few younger singers out there, I think, in that age range, between 25 and yeah, 30, that are top-notch Singer. So there's a few others. Yeah, like three or four. There's a few, you know, JoJo's and whatever. I think JoJo might be 30 now. But, you know, there's a few others. But she can sing. Like, this is a woman who doesn't need any Probably backing recordings. Desires. And there's no one who doesn't need any kind of pipes like that, too. JoJo did. And some of her, her arrangements, I think, of her. So she has, like, hit records and she has songs. And yeah. they made a big deal to show how many hits she had and albums and all this stuff and Grammys and everything else. So she's got about an impressive resume. What I did not know from her is that she is a producer. Yeah, I did not know And that. songwriter, and she's heavily involved in writing her own songs, making her own music and stuff. So, And she is a little mini superstar. Everybody pretty much you know, around the globe knows her. She has a lot of fans. She has a really young, you know, she has a young fan base, but she has a really rich R&B music. So, I mean, a lot of people know her songs. Yeah, and I don't know if they would display... I don't know if they would consider it, is she... Is it pop? Or is it supposed to be, like, soul? Well, I think she's pop. Or is she a cross between the two of them, maybe? Or... I don't, I don't really know. Yeah. It seems very popish to me, her music. Yeah. So, I, um, so that's one thing I noticed about it, too. Uh-huh. So, it seems like she came into... I don't know. Just the person I get from watching four episodes. So, she came to, like, I know I'm going to sing... I know I can sing. My pitch is going to be, I, I know I need to take out John Legend. See, like, she's thinking John is more her competition because yeah. Telly would do the pop and country. Blake would do just the country. Right. And, and whatever else, too. And, and John would do the pop and R&B. So it seems like she's thinking John's my main competition. Right. And it seems like she's there now, and she's finding out that Kelly's a big competition for her. Yeah. And even Blake, because when Blake doesn't turn for you, he will turn around and... and you know, go against you and play different stuff and whatever, you know. So that's one thing that. Well, that thing is funny, and I think what is funny to me too is her little fish out of water moments where she doesn't really understand. Yeah, like, like, understand I don't what's happening. Yeah, yeah, what's going on? And she had a few of those. Yeah, and you know what I think is cute, John. Not John. Blake seems to have a rapport with every coach. Yeah, he does. Like, little thing with him and Nick last season. There's one thing about Blake, yeah. Him and Romance and Mary. Yeah. Him and Adam had the little rivalry. And him Mm -hmm. and Kelly have it. Now, they have have a little rivalry, too. The little country rivalry. Not as much. Mm -hmm. And then Ariana and Blake, his little report with her is really cute. Mm -hmm. Like, he's trying to teach her how to, (laughs) how things are supposed to go. She's trying to learn. She goes, I don't know anybody. And Blake just laughs. Oh, yeah. Blake just laughs. He just does his thing. He just, yeah. yeah. And I think that's one of the reasons why I think he, I don't know. Well, when you watch it, sometimes you watch it, you know how I always don't like the scripted jokes. Oh, yeah. I don't like when they try too hard. Yes. I always was what I always said about Adam Levine. I always thought he was trying too hard. Well, he's and, not that good of an actor. Yeah, so yeah. It, it always said they're trying too hard to make it work. And I always thought Blake is the one coach out of all the coaches, I think, that says these things that are natural. And you yeah. don't know what he says. They come out funny. They work so much funny because he's not trying to think of his lines and not trying to say whatever mm-hmm. and all that. So I think that's where I think it's kind of coming from. Right. Like I think, oh, okay. John sometimes will say things that you know he wrote down ahead of time. Yeah. And Kelly will write stuff ahead of time. Or John and Kelly will be like, oh, that's a battle between the two. Oh, yeah. we got the two fighting. We got. Yeah, or, yeah. or they keep saying how great Ariana is and how great she's like, you don't have to they keep saying it. Back they keep yeah. hyping it up and they hype for more on it. Yeah. And, um, but so that too. When we first found out that she was coming, it was a total surprise. Oh, I yeah. Never thought they would get her. Never thought they would get her. Never thought, yeah. And I, mean, I like that she watches the show. Yeah. Like, she's a fan. She's all, well, I thought for sure B.B. was coming or Kelsey Ballerini. Yeah. And we knew Gwen wasn't coming back. Right, and we right. knew 
Nick Jonas had already only planned to come back for that for that one season because I right. think he's doing because he Jonas was going on tour, mm -hmm. so we knew that. But when they announced her, they announced it pretty early. Right. I was very surprised that they got her, mm -hmm. and I thought, oh, and I really thought, my opinion, I'm not going to like this. It's going to be over hyped. I don't like over hyped situation or whatever. The first episode, I got a little annoyed, <laughs> but the last three, yeah. The last day I kind of liked it. The chemistry was kind of there to them. Yeah. Actually, she was kind of funny. And nothing yeah. against her. I just thought it was going to be so much right, right, right. hyping. Yeah. Um, like I never liked when Gwen and Blake were. I love Gwen. I love Blake. When they were the same season, it was too much of me. Yeah. And I liked Nick Jonas. And, you know. Yeah. I can't remember really like popped up. But I never thought it would be too much, you know. Yeah. But I thought the first four episodes were actually. Okay. They were good as far as coaches. Oh. Yeah, as yeah. far as coaches, Sorry. they were good. Before we get into, like, the coaching aspect of stuff, we got to shout out to that opening number with the coaches in the oh, season. Yeah. That, hold on, I'm coming. Yeah. And respect mashup. Yeah. That they did. They had John and Blake come out. They yeah. First John and day. Blake came out and was singing, um, yeah, hold on, Sam and Dave. And then Kelly and Ariana, Ariana came out, and, and they were singing. They singing. Exactly. They started singing "Respect." Yeah. And I was like, "They're opening the show and I'm with like, that." Respect to respect. I girl. was like, "Those two girls came out like, this is how you sing live." Yeah. Everybody, take, take note. Every notes. performer we just saw on the MTV Awards and their all the award shows that were all singing to a track. Listen and watch us, because we weren't on those shows. Watch us and see mm -hmm. how it's done. They yeah. just brought it down. And they had this background. People who <laughs> watch these people came out. I don't know if they were Kelly's girls, Ari's girls, the voice of girls, rest. or a combination of all of them. There's a bunch of people on there. And they, at one point, Blake stopped singing and was just clapping. And then Blake and John oh, rejoined the them, and they were, like, hitting those notes of respect, booing right in the hold on. Then they yeah. come back, and at the end, Ariana's like, let me show you why I got paid twenty million. Oh, yeah. Kelly's like, let me show you why. <laughs> I can still see. Um, yeah, it was just like, I'm wow. The, so you didn't see that, but if you listen to this podcast and you didn't see that performance, go to YouTube. Go to YouTube and go find it. Go see a performance. And I know I always say the show is more about the coaches and not it the is. contestants and the coaches and the contestants. So I didn't want to love that. Didn't want to love that. Didn't want to love that. Um, that song as much. I didn't want to be like, that was the highlight of the yeah. episode, but that oh was the God, highlight really of the episode, which yes, is girl. what, which is what, I guess, that's what the producers want. Mm -hmm. They got it. Because yeah. I would have saved that. I think I would have saved that episode for next week. I would have saved that song saved for next week. Because I noticed they used to do it all the time, and they started waiting late in the season to bust yeah. out the coaches. Because, but I guess they figure it's only once, once a season. I would have started, I would have saved it for the first live show. Exactly. We don't need to see. Yeah, keep it about the contestants and all of that. Because I'm yeah. sure there's some contestant at home that probably didn't get a turn or got one as featured, and they're like, oh. I'm thinking well, they should be studying They're going to be showing anyway. me at the... Yeah, they should be studying, but they're going to show me at the... Okay, but that's just me. Yeah. So I thought the chemistry was there. I thought yeah. it was funny. Ariana had a little yeah, little lunch box. And she, <laughs> yeah. and she had, like, herbal tea herbal and, like, box. little stuffing and all that, whatever. Yeah, it was for the vo for the vocalist. Yeah, the vocalist and whatever to help her with their voice. Teas, yeah. Kind of things that are, an artist, a singer would have for their heart. That's, like, their little gifts this season. Blake? Hat. He doesn't have the bobble hair like he had before. Thank he God, because has... that Vince Gill. <laughs> yeah, Vince yeah, Gill. Like That'd be like funny. Him. That Vince Gill bobble head. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this Maybe he gave him to Vince Gill. Vince Gill is going to use the bobble This season he has the wind cam where he actually goes to. Yeah, that was funny. And you can see where it says wind cam. He has the person on his team that's his winner. John has a boxing robe because he's like. Thank God he stopped that song. Thank God he stopped the song out and he got a robe. Okay, the song was cute, but after the after the fifth yeah. or sixth person, we just was really tired of the song. Yeah, and then Kelly's got her traditional jacket. Yeah, Kelly got her jacket in new colors, but she got her jacket, <laughs> just in new colors. And when Blake first said he had a win cap, I thought he was saying win, and I thought the first was going to, and then I was like, oh no, he meant a win, yeah, W-I-N-N. Yeah, he's going to win. Because he's going to win, and had them all singing and talking, and I was laughing about it, because he's probably going to win. And, when he and said, that's what I thought was so funny about it. When he's talking to the contestants at one point, he says, a jacket, a bag, <laughs> a, a lunchbox. <laughs> he's so Nate trying to sell you with this. Yeah. That was pretty And then when he told Kelly that her jackets were going to be, um, oh, no. what did he say? Her okay. jackets were going to be. He was selling it. Like, he was selling it. Kelly was like, 
I have a jacket. I have a jacket. That's like one of her selling points. It's yeah. a cool jacket and all that kind of stuff. And Blake goes, oh, don't worry. Right after the knockouts, those jackets are going to be at your local thrift store. <laughs> <laughs> And I was laughing so hard. I was so like, funny. oh, that was such a good one because you know it's true. Oh, God, I was dying because you know someone who got kicked off or someone who got, someone who got eliminated yeah. during the blind during the pandemic was putting those down. suckers on eBay or whatever. Oh, that was so funny. Yeah. Dying, but I thought it was funny. I was cracking up laughing. Remember when she had came in to the um, backstage and everybody was wearing. Wearing the jacket. They were all everyone wearing the jacket. Everyone had yeah. the jackets. I was like. This is a chance to ask Kelly for a jacket. That's that poison jacket. It is. It's they like, put everybody yeah, everybody in the jacket. jacket or everybody in the t-shirt. Everybody came yeah. in. She had all the t-shirts. We thought her, one of the stepkids was going to have a jacket. I was like, was here they all come. And I was like, this is a perfect opportunity to ask for a jacket. Should have asked for a jacket. It was two things. Yep. Like that. With COVID. They mean they never have a I think the only person that wasn't wearing a jacket was the suit to be exiled. He's the only one that didn't have the jacket on. But everybody uh-huh. else had that jacket that on. That was a clue. That was Not a clue. Teasing. No, anyway. Um, no, he was there with Blake. We're teasing. Yeah, anyway. We're just, anyway. Um, we're we, being silly. We won't discuss people's personal life. Uh, That's what I just we did. We will. We anyway. just won't do it the way other people. Yeah, we're not doing it. Yeah. Anyway, um, so that was, so now that we talked about the coaches for the first beginning of our podcast. Isn't that what it's all about? Hey, according Let's to. Let's talk about. Yeah. Let's talk about well, we just want well, we're doing what we're doing. Yeah, we're just saying how we thought the chemistry was and all that. So it's legit that we have reason to talk about and that. And then you want to talk about some of the standout auditions? Yeah, let's talk about a few of the standout auditions. Um, where should we start? Okay, my standout. Are we talking the first episode, just no, in general, just in general? Okay, because there's the four episodes. Yeah, we don't have time. Two for weeks, four just the four episodes. Yeah, we're not going to go down every single person because there was too many people today. Okay, let's start with the W's. Wendy. Yeah, Wendy. Wendy Moden. Let's just start with Wendy Moden. She's on Team Blake. Yes, she is. So Memphis, Tennessee. Um, you're very familiar with Yes, her. I worked with Wendy. Go ahead, tell me about Yeah, it. here's a little story about Wendy Moden. I'll make it short. Um, Wendy was on EMI Records, oh, she's so good. which I worked at. EMI Records, she was there. She was an artist. And the back then there was a, a division, an R&B division. And they had, you know, a black division you know, pop division, and you kind of stayed in those divisions and kind of put you. She was there in our black they, they signed her. She was an artist. They they was looking for a black female because of their label. You know, well, right. basically what happened back in that day, I won't even name the other artist. It but, still happens now. And it still happens now, which unfortunately, but back in that day, if an artist got signed, they would go to every single label. And then after, you, they would, you know, Arista or whoever picked whoever they got, then whoever didn't get that person or turned them down be like, wait a minute. They we got this the artist. They got yeah. a big hit. We need the next Tony Braxton. So they right. go out, and the A&R person would go to all right. these clubs or whatever, and they're looking for another person. So next thing you know, here comes, you know, a person or whatever. So we have, so so then Wendy's your, you know, your R&B girl. So Wendy, if you haven't heard her, you should definitely listen to her, oh, her God, album so and all good. that. She always had a great voice, always was compared to Whitney's and compared to Tony's. And she has a great voice, a really, really good she singer. She does. Yeah. Unfortunately, they didn't do as much with her as I thought they should do. Right. You know? I mean, well, she had a career, but then what she said on the show, she's been singing for 35 years, and once her album, once her record deal was over, she, you know, didn't yeah, get signed. Didn't so happened. then she started yeah. going into the. And I always wondered what happened to her. And one day I looked her up. I was just looking up people that, you know, were on EMI. And I looked her up, and I saw she was singing background for Vince Gill. And I'm like, what is this woman doing singing background for Vince Gill? She well, she should be, be lead. back in the thing. But I understand that. She probably right. she got out of the business, and you start, like she said, one day she wants to go back to doing it. But at that time, and she's been doing it for 15 years, and she's been touring with John Oates. She's toured with Michael McDowell. She's toured with Julio Iglesias. When you go see Julio Iglesias in concert, she's going to be singing the Diana Ross part. When you go right. see her with Michael McDowell, she's going to be singing on my own, Bell, you know, yeah. the Pay La Bell part. And it's probably it's probably steady money for her. She can still, she, she's from Tennessee. She lives, I mean, she's a Memphis. But she lives in Nashville, and she's doing her thing. People know who she is, and she probably still has her fan base or whatever. And I think people are, I think she's going to get a little bit of slack, because they always call them ring girls, people that are, had a she career, a why are they here? But that voice is the show that brings people like that in yeah. and put them on there to give them a second chance. And I'm pretty sure she was probably watching The Voice right. and seeing other people. And with the pandemic, there hasn't been any touring. Right. So I'm pretty sure that's probably part of it. 
I thought her package was going to have, like, Vince Gill and all these guys going, ooh, cheering her on. I think they stayed. They probably did it. Yeah. They probably did have it and didn't use it, or they're going to use it later because they probably didn't want the push. Right. To be, you know, they, they're trying to sell her ass. She's, a you know, a career lady. She's been seeing a background, and right. she's going back into the right. field. But I That's think how like, I think they're pushing her. Her audition was one of, like, the best ones I've seen yeah. in a while. Yeah, oh, definitely. Oh, my God. Her, her range was fantastic Definitely. and everything. And she's the one that stands out the most to me. The one oh, yeah. That I, like, she's the one that stood out. And they had her clothes out the first opening night. They had her clothes out. She was there. She uh, All four coaches turned around. Blake blocked John. Don't blame him. And uh, he blocked John. You know, she probably would have picked She him. probably could have picked John. I don't know who she would have picked. She said she had her eye I on Blake. I think she had her eye on Blake. Because John got blocked. And I, I don't know. See, I think she had her eye on Blake, and I think I would go with Blake in her yeah. sense. Because she's probably thinking, mm-hmm. Blake could bring me to the country audience. And then the country audience, she's saying with Faith and they Tim. I remember her. She's yeah. saying with events. Country fans probably already know who she is. Yeah. You know, so the R&B fans, the old school R&B fans yeah. may know her. And there's going to be a whole room of people who don't know who she is. Yeah. So, standout? I think she definitely was the standout. I mean, the Sam was good. She did, um, what she did, we can work it out? Yeah. She yeah. did that. I mean, she just hit every note and then some. Yeah. And people were talking about it. People on the internet were talking about mm-hmm. her performance. It just stood out. It was Who like. Who was your standout person so far this season? The next person who Another really, one. who stood out to me was Samara Brown. Uh-huh. She did Sweet Thing by Chuck Khan. Yeah, and it she was so She is Amanda Brown's sister from season three. She's one of, one of my favorite contestants um, mm-hmm. from The Voice because I've been oh, watching yeah. the show since the beginning of time. Uh, beginning of its time. I really remember she said, oh, my sister, and then her sister came up. Oh, I'm like, oh, Amanda. I thought she was really good. When uh-huh. Blake mentioned the three auditions, he said to Wendy, you're one of the top three auditions. Right. I was trying to think who he's thinking is the other two, and I'm trying to remember auditions that stood out to me. And I do remember, uh, I don't know if it was the, the audition that stood out to me or the performance that stood out to me. See, That's, I don't, know. I I don't remember, remember, but I do remember. I remember Jordan standing out. Yeah, we were there. Yeah, yeah. I remember him standing out, and I was just like, oh, my God, this guy, this voice is incredible. Oh, we were there. And, and what you saw on TV was only half of what we saw live. Because yeah. it, it went, I mean, his audition was, you know, what you saw yeah, on I TV. Yeah, being good. But I remember the coaches went on for like a good half an hour. It was literally a half an hour trying to get this guy on their team. Um, yeah, Jordan stood out. I also remember um, there was a guy, uh, okay, Matthew, my guy Matthew, but I don't think it was his audition. Yeah. And this guy Trevor and um, him, and I remember Amanda. There's a couple poor battles they were at to the auditions, or they were Jordan the or the performances. Story, yeah. So I'd have to look back and see it on it, but yeah. I'm pretty sure people on message boards will be saying they're top three and it might be someone else. Yeah. But Wendy is up there. I mean, okay, she, so then you like Samara. Well, definitely, Samara yeah, I really, I really like Samara. She ended up picking John. I really, really liked her. Mm-hmm. Then there was a girl, I may say her name wrong, she sang Ariana Grande's song. Jiminy. Jiminy. And then, like Jiminy Cricket. instead of picking Ariana Grande, she picked, she picked Kelly. Kelly. And I forgot why she said she picked Kelly. Kelly said something. I At the very end, she realized, and that's when she changed her thing. I have to go through my notes. Yeah. She said something about. Um, I think she realized that Kelly has won before. She she's Kelly won a competition. Really her up. Yeah. yeah, competition, and Kelly has won before, and she did Idol. So I think that's that. And then Ariana's new. She has to prove herself. That's true. Ariana didn't look at like this. Good should pick me. She didn't pick me. What's happening? Blake was trying to help her. Yeah. And Blake was trying to tell her, like, what happened, you know, what was going on, and all that. I thought that was kind of funny, but she definitely, definitely stood out to me. Right. And then there was, uh, I'll have to go through my notes as I think of the people that stood out. That's one thing I was saying. Uh, Coach-wise and everything else, I thought the chemistry thing was there. Mm-hmm. Talent-wise, wasn't bad. But a lot of people did not stand out to me. Yeah. And going over my notes for prepping for this thing, it's been two weeks and, and past seasons. I've had like a thousand people yeah. written down that I really, yeah. really liked or really stood out there. I remember I was kind of forgetting people. Mm-hmm. When I was going back to prepare for this, I was kind of like, who was that? Yeah. Who did they pick? I don't know if that's because it was a busy week at the time I was trying to watch it back or because, well, we watched the episode ahead of time, but... 
or was it because when I watched it back, I didn't feel that way, or was it because it was just a busy week, or was it because overall, I it didn't, I don't know. I think it's all those things, but I think overall, it's just like it doesn't stand out as much anymore because there's so many. Yeah, that could be what it is. I mean, this. I mean, there's some good standouts, but and there's like some definitely said. good standouts. No disrespect to anyone's talent, yeah. um, but there was some people that I was just like, okay. Well, there's this guy, the Jonathan, mm-hmm. who's John Legend's on Team Legend. He's saying the Stevie Wonder. Is it Stevie Wonder? Can there was a guy that sang Stevie Jonathan Wonder. Jonathan Moden. And his mom. His mom was, was a background. Yeah, his yeah. mom was from Tennessee. No, his mom was a Motown. Right. Is that caught my that caught my eye? His mom was a Motown. Um, Backup singer, so you know I was all over that. I thought he was good, and he was very good. I liked him. He was very good. I liked I liked the way he sang. I liked his um thing. There was another guy that said he wanted it wasn't as good as him, and I'm like, Paris. and he picked John. Like you know what's gonna happen? All these guys, yeah, all these R and B guys, they're gonna put them against all each these R and B guys. They always come. They pick John Legend. I understand why they idolize John. They they want to be an R and B singer. They were us too, but I would be cautious. Of picking John only because if right. everyone picks John, and we saw it happen last season, we saw it happen. Right. John's what four or five seasons on. We've seen it happen. Okay, there's like ten. Or, he'll have like ten people, and six will be R and B male singers. Mm-hmm. Right then, do three are gone. Right, because he already has another person. Then he'll have like he'll have ten people. So we have these six R and B singers. Then we have like. Two female yeah. R&B girls. So boom, boom, boom. One's gone. And then there'll yeah. be three other people that he blends in. Let me get a country person. Let me get a rock person. Let me get another person. I think that person, you know, I don't know. That's what yeah. I, I would get really worried about if I was um, <coughs> if I was picking John Legend. Another, then again, I really can't say it because who knows? I may sing and then pick John Legend. And the other, another person, another thing I thought out, there's more duos than I thought. But people, yeah. There's the father-son. Yeah, it was a father son. They weren't bad. Father and son weren't bad. They were actually very good. I actually liked them the best. The other groups didn't really didn't really sell me. There was that girl girl named Tom. Tom. Didn't really sell me. Um, I have to see a little more. The joy something. Yeah. You bring me joy. Joy reunion or joy. Joy I think the joy reunion. They didn't really sell me. There was two little girls that were sisters that came and they were singing and. One's 14 and 15, yeah. and they just reminded me of a little Sunday, a group in the past, and, and I'm like, really that's good. probably why they tried out. Those little girls picked Kelly. They were sisters. Yeah. To me, they started off like they needed more experience, because yeah. a little Sunday started off really shaky. Yeah. And then they started working their thing, and then they were on Kelly not long ago. Oh, yeah? And they were talking about what's been going on since the pandemic, and they sang, I thought, ooh, these girls have grown up. They sounded like they got yeah, to sing yeah. together. So hopefully for the Cunningham sisters... That'll happen for them, too. Mm-hmm. There was a girl, Holly. She yes. closed out the show, and they did a cliffhanger. What the show's doing cliffhangers? I, don't, well, I understand why they're doing you gotta it. You got to do anything to, to get, get people, people to tune in the next day. day. Yeah. They had this girl, Holly. Yeah, she was good. She, you know, had been sick. She had seizures when she was younger. She sang, um, she sang Rocket Man. And she I had say Tiny Dance, She had a four-year turn, but then she John got blocked. It still counts. The yeah, turn John got blocked. She sang it. She sounded really good. She sounded really powerful. They, picking they did a cliffhanger, and then she came back, and she ended up picking Kelly, and Kelly was all shocked and everything like that, too. She was really good. I she didn't was. like her. One thing I do want to point out, there was two people that auditioned mm-hmm. that sang songs, and they were like the exact same arrangement that other contestants have sang in past seasons. Yeah, so it didn't and I sound fresh. I think it either. did sound fresh. One was, a girl came and she said, Never Tear Us Apart by Anna Sess. You know, that's one of my yeah. all-time favorite songs. It's yeah. really hard for me to hear, hear the song um, without getting sad. But people have sang it, and I always appreciate when they sing it. it right. you know, in a sense, has a alive. wide catalog. Yeah. Maybe someone can sing a different, in a, they probably have like two in a set songs, clear, like they have two Duran yeah. Duran songs, and that's yeah. what they sing. And a girl sang that back, and I remember I think a girl the very last season, or the season when Little Carter won, sang it and had the exact same arrangement. I know yeah. it's, they have a catalog, and that's what's in there. I'm sure the girl picked it out. I'm sure she got the vocal coach, or she remembers someone singing it, and I'm sure the band already knows it. Right. But you kind of have to change the arrangement around. And the song hasn't been sang that much, so it shouldn't have caught my eye, but it caught my eye instantly. 
It you may just funny. catch my eye because I'm, you know, a it nut. It catch my eye. Okay, there you and go. And I'm so, just as big and yeah. an inexperienced fan as you. So, so it might I just be know. me. It's that was one. The second one was a girl, and she sang, we don't have to take our clothes off yeah. by Jermaine Stewart. A song you do not hear very often. on any of these shows. And there was what? a girl that in that first season with um, Gwen, Ellie, I still remember her, sang that song at her audition, and she killed it. It's one of my, one of my, one of my, one of my auditions I really like. Not a top three, but it's one of I really like. So I remembered it. Clear as day. It was different. It's still right. out. It sounds nothing like the song. You would never guess that song. Right. That's a song you should be singing. Right. If you're going to change it up and then say no one's going to recognize it, America's Got Talent, you know, you gotta <laughs> change it up and sing a song, you know, then it's the same song that we've all heard. But anyway, um, but that's all the story. So she sang that song and I was like, it, I know this version already. Right. But then again, that might be just me remembering that. Nine out of ten, may I remember that audition. Remember that, that maybe the girl picked it. Right. But it stood out. I'm like, if you're going to sing a song that has already been sung on The Voice, right. you may not have the option. To, like you said, you may not have that. They give you oh, two yeah, or three songs. Do you don't have the option. And someone's encouraging you. And you, and if we the hear, vocal coach is telling you how to do it, or probably... Um, oh, yeah. Oh. I mean, Susan, we talk to the contestants all the time, and that's the first thing you say. Is there any songs? And now this is all mm. over. We're picking the winner tomorrow. They name all kind of songs. I couldn't get the clue into that. Or I wanted to see this and so does I want to see this. So I'm sure they get this little, they had this big list. Of the, and that's yeah. just, you know, competition There's shows. Y'all heard seven yeah, songs. competition yeah. shows as it is. But if you're going to sing it, to me, I don't know. I shouldn't really blame them because they may, they may be like, there was two songs. And I went with the Cinecess yeah, song, so exactly. get off and my I was back. Up against Aretha Franklin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that guy said. Yeah. I was up against Aretha Franklin. And then and then Stevie Wonder. It's the anniversary of one of the best albums ever. Songs Song to Kill Life. If you don't have yes. that album, go get it. If you play don't, it, yeah, go get it. Or if you've heard songs it, from it. You've heard go to songs. The library, ask your yeah. grandma, ask your mother. It's the anniversary of that your album. Older cousin. It's great. It's yes. still great. It still stands up. Yeah. But we can talk about that. We're gonna have to put a moratorium uh, on Stevie Wonder songs. Yeah. It's we like, need to stop doing them. We need to stop having them done. We need coaches to stop having them done the battles. I mean, John Legend did last year super pick a Stevie song. Wonder song that never had been performed on The Voice. Yeah. And they did it, and half people loved it, half people didn't love it. It's a really popular song. To um, me, I just say don't sing Stevie and Whitney. But I love the year yeah. when American Idol said, first week we're going to have Stevie, the girls sing, boys sing Stevie, and the girls sing Whitney. Let's just get it over with. And I'm like, yeah. wow. I don't know. We need well, to stop it. Stop it. I don't want to hear I wish. Okay. I don't want to hear signs they delivered. I don't want to hear superstition. I want to hear, you know what I do Stevie want to hear? Himself. I want to hear Stevie Wonder see superstition. Don't cut it on the telecast of oh, a global God. citizen, but that's another story. There. Anyway. What about? And I know why they do it, because he's so popular. I don't yeah. know. I don't want to hear. It might just be me. I don't want to hear me. you sing it. And then John gets up. He starts dancing. dancing. Kelly gets up. It gets a turn. Yeah, that could be That's why they do it. Saying. They do it. It gets a turn. Although yeah, when Victor, when song. Victor did sing it though, during the top twelve or twenty last year, I was digging it. I was digging it. Right. After I said don't sing it, I did like it. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. There were two people that auditioned so far that you recognized and remembered from a recent Yes. Title. Yes. And I do like that there's some familiar people, and the person has done a singing competition before, so they're trying again. It's yeah. It's in their age limit, and it's in their time. But the Rachel, Rachel girl. Rachel yeah, girl. Rachel was Rachel one. Trinidad. Okay, last year there was two people that were on American Idol, but it had been so long ago, you really didn't remember it offhand. Sometimes I, I don't think they look familiar, and I'll type their name, and then American Idol pops up. Mm-hmm. But the two contestants that we saw, Rachel was just on American Idol when they last went to Hawaii. So that's like mm-hmm. a year ago, right. maybe a year and a half ago, top the pandemic. So then she started saying, like, I know that girl. She had a kind it. of a different story angle from when she was on Idol. It was kind of like, is this the same girl? That is the same girl. Um, but it's the pandemic, and she's like, hey, you know, didn't work on American Idol. Yeah, she made the top 20. Yeah. She was singing the duets and stuff. And I forgot she didn't do it with it messed up. And I was like, oh, it's not going to be, it's not going to go well. She anyway, so she was there. She picked Ariana. So that was her. And then Jeremy Rosado was back from the Philip Philip years. So that's season 11. So you wouldn't remember him, but he made like the top 13. Just missed the Mexico he on the tour. Him. 
So right there, he had a kind of a different story since that time. He yeah, is raising his sister's kid. Yeah, I like his voice. He's singing. Oh, he had a great he's voice 29. then. Yeah, he's twenty nine. He's raising his sister's kid. She just graduated college, and he was all in Ariana. She said, "Pick Ariana, no matter what you do." Blah blah blah. And then Ariana didn't turn. So then he picked Kelly. So but so him, I don't think you would recognize right off. But her, I you just was watching American Idol. You know, then again, like you said, you may be like, I didn't recognize the other people. You know, I don't really know. Yeah, and the voice is what's supposed to get them and attract them and make them turn. That's true. And, and like turn. you said, they, they take people. And they recruit people, too. There's yeah. a lot of people from Long Island, New York. I know that Carson lives in New York. And Carson usually goes and picks people out. Right. How they're doing it with the pandemic, I know they were seeing a lot of auditions by tape and, you know, Zoom auditions and all that. So they're coming in auditions. Right. So I don't know if... If Carson had a bunch of tapes he viewed at home, but usually last year was all Chicago. So this year I know it's a lot of people from the New York mm-hmm. Island, New York Long Island area, and it may be intentionally because, right. you know, you're just got it. Like you said, you're just trying to keep a show running, and we're still in this yeah. COVID area, which we didn't think we'd be in, you know, right. 18, 20 some months later. So I think they're still probably taking precautions, but there is a live audience, and they are going to do the show live. Mm-hmm. Hopefully everyone stays, you know, healthy and yeah. well. And then I'm going to say some, some probably going to feel controversial or something like that, but. Let's do it. There are some, the young people that audition. Yes. They are really, they're really good. They have really talent, but I don't know, maybe it's because of the voice or the way they do it. I feel like they're too young to be in the show. They should be 18. Yes. And start their, you know, competition there. That way they can get um, their voice is ready and get whatever. Yeah. There was somebody. There was at least that was six 13, of them. Yeah, that There's said, at least six of them. Yeah, and said, I know I've two been, or three got turned down. I've been waiting since I was 13. Yeah. To get the, I can yeah. Tell, so, like, the minimum age must be 13. And I can understand, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, because the Bieber hit it Justin off. Justin Bieber started that. Yeah. You can blame the Bieber. That's how all Swift. shows were doing it. And then when Justin Bieber hit so big, yeah. every show started lowering their age requirement. Age requirement. Yes. That happens all the time. And I, I think, okay, my personal opinion, which you know, is I think you should be 18 and over. Yeah. I think I think it's just a... There's some yeah. that can handle it. Some that are mature. Enough, yeah, like I mean, that little Kennedy Holmes girl that J, yeah. that J. Hutt had. And that girl was 13, are, 14 right. years old. That girl handled like a pro. Yeah. Some can't handle. There's some adults that can't handle it. But <laughs> yeah, I just exactly. think because you got to deal with the parents and you got to deal with you know um, guardians and yeah. all that stuff. That's my opinion on guardians. it. I think there should just be like 18 and over, and then do your little junior edition. Yeah, America's Got Junior. What was that show what, called? The Voice Kids. The Voice Kids. Yeah. yeah. Then, then that way you have all kids competing and yeah. like that. So you think you what's that? So you dance. Oh, so you dance the kids. Yeah. And I should say, well, so you can dance. I would the always say kids. you'd be eighteen and over, and they would pick eighteen, and then right. some people that were right at eight. Yeah. The Voice did know. kids. They did kids. Dance the stars did kids. Did. Everyone's yeah. done kids. So I think that's yeah. Yeah, some of them just see. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to take the opportunity away from them. I know. But and. I just Okay, well, if I had a 14, this, 13, little, this little group of kids, and they yeah. just, the way it was edited, the way it was done, they seemed too young. And there was three or four that got turned away. Yeah. And that could be why. Right, because you're yeah. too young, come back. You're too young, come back. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's not really controversy. It's just a matter of opinion. There might be someone out there that thinks the kids were better than some of the adults. Yeah, the kids were great. I want to take away from these Cunningham sisters. <laughs> there we go. Life. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. There was a couple that didn't make it. There was a little girl. Life. There was a young girl who said she'd been waiting to try out. Yeah. And then there's a lot. Then, then with Ariana, Maybe. Ariana's bringing a lot of the young ones, too. Yeah. A lot of her young, because there was a lot of that, oh, right. Ariana, oh, look at her picture in the hallway. Oh, if I could right, see right. her, you know. Oh, they didn't get crazy with it. It may happen next week. Yeah. But I could see that, too. And then when they do the battle round, there's going to be this 13-year-old. Yeah. Because they'll do it. This 13-year-old against this 27-year-old, you're trying to go with the spirit. And Blake's the only one that go. I paired these two up because they're my two young ones. Yeah. Blake's the main one that would yeah, do yeah. that. The other ones are kind of like, well. Really kind of does it. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but is it going to be? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so, based on, like, what we've seen so far, is there any person that... Wait, no, I guess 
was the only person that you were like surprised that people turned for. Yes. I mean, the personalities were good. Yes. I think that's probably why. I know it's because of editing, because when they shoot the show, it's, it's shot in, you know, in order. And then they right. edit it out. That's why they're wearing the same clothes. Right. So they edit the people out, whatever. But there's always somebody who... Sounds halfway decent. Yeah. They may be a little nervous. And then nobody turns. And then, right. and then they go, you have this great voice. I know. I didn't turn because you seem nervous. And, stuff. and then you go, okay, and you're kind of, you know, pissed. Usually I get mad. I'll tweet about it. But no one pissed me off. Usually <laughs> I get pissed because they didn't pick someone and go, come on. Yeah. Then the very next person comes out. And they're just like mediocre. Yeah. And they're just and like, go, they're just playing, they you know. They let that person go. Yeah. And, and they're like, turning. You sound so good. And I know it's because of editing. And yeah. And some I tea baby fool. Yeah. Or like Kelly. Kelly did say one thing about she already had another group. And she didn't think it would be fair to put another group in. Against you know. Other, yeah. Or I already have something to sound like you. Because usually they don't say that. Usually you're like, no, another coach will call them out. Like that. Because I think it was Gwen. Right. Or Dick or someone one year that said that Kelly had another person that sounded like that. And yeah. Kelly goes, no, I don't know. Yes, you do. Yes, I'm you like, do. And I was like, yes, you do. I know. Like that, too. But I <laughs> she usually, does it all the time. One thing I noticed in the four uh, all things, I didn't see that many country artists. Usually it's so yeah. packed with I'm like, where are they going? Maybe. Shania back? Is there another show? Where maybe are they going? Season, or maybe they can't travel? I don't know. Because you usually see know. so many, you're like, oh, here yeah. they are. And then you see all these R&B guys. We only saw like four or five. So I guess yeah. they wonder. Where are they? Are they coming next week? They're coming next year. Then you always have the big diva girls. Yeah. You, know, you always have your diva. I love my diva girls. Big diva girls you always like, have the I'm diva girls, getting... the big voices, and the big so-and-so. And, you know, are they, I don't know, are they back working? Big diva girls are like, I'm not going up there to get knocked out before the live show. <laughs> that is or true. Get knocked out I'm tired of going show. and I'm not tired. making it to yeah. the top ten. Yeah. I'm going somewhere else. I'm going somewhere else. Could I'm be. I'm going to Alter Ego where they can't see me. My avatar or whatever. I don't know. That's a whole other story. That's true. If we get to that. Well, yeah. we won't, no, we probably won't get to Alter Ego podcast. But we we'll will. mention at the end of one of our Mass Singer podcasts. Like, we'll mention it right now. We'll do a two-minute Alter Ego mention in every podcast we do, and then that covers it. There are two minutes to go. There's Grimes, there's Alanis Morissette, there's Will I, Will I Am, and Nick Lachey. Yeah. I don't know. And so. Nick was selling that show. So now we know why he was selling that show. Selling, 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 Nick. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, I saw them. Uh, well, I, I see you, Nick, Nick Lachey. Lachey. I, I knew what you were doing. Uh-huh. Mm, yeah. Anyway, go. The gifts were nice. And, um, Stop. No, they're very nice. I don't know. Stop. Stop. I have to watch another episode with Alter Ego to see. The first episode didn't catch me like I wanted it to catch yeah. me. But, I, but to be fair, I will give it a second chance. I will watch the second episode and see if it interacts more than the first episode. Okay. And you can hear more about that when we do our Mass Singer podcast. Yeah. We'll throw in, we'll throw in if a, we saw the minute. second episode, yeah. but that's okay. it. Anyway, so maybe that's where the girls are going. Maybe. I don't really know. I don't know. But there was a couple people that, you know, I mean, a lot of groups that could be their thing because groups usually don't go as far, but some of the Swan Brothers did it, whatever. At least they're new. Uh, at least they're new. And maybe there was just a variety of people. I mean, looking, okay, so far, so we've had four episodes, and I'm looking at the artist, and I'm looking at the people, and Blake has the strongest team at the moment. I think he does, too. Blake has the strongest team at the moment, because I don't, well, I know this year, they usually pick 10. I think they went back to 12 this year, I heard. I'm not oh. 100% sure on that, which Could means they're going to have an extra two people, and I think only three or, you know, they do the three people that go to the end. Like they do the battles, and they do the knockouts, and they do the... No, I think there's 10 again. Oh, it's okay. I was wrong. So they do the battles, then they go to the um, the, bl- the blinds, then the battles, and the knockouts. Right. And so you know already Wendy's going straight to the knockouts. I would be very right. surprised that he's going to put somebody that he doesn't really quite remember like us, the one with Wendy, and then make up some story why he put it with Wendy. And Wendy's going straight to, yeah. to there, and you know... And I think so is Holly, and I think so is yeah. um, Jiminy, yeah. and um, just yeah, offhand. Yeah, like the powerhouse diva singers. Yeah, just offhand, I think of them. Mm-hmm. But you never know. You can't count out the rock guys. You can't count the Turner guys, yeah. the Elvis guy. Oh, and then there was a guy that was a big Broadway kind of sounding guy too, ain't it? He went to John. Yeah. He, he, was, he had a big voice. Usually I remember John Legend's team. I'm not remembering many people John Legend's team. 
Let's see. So I need to look at that next time. Jack. I remember Ariana's team. I remember the people who picked Kelly, and I remember Blake's. Mm -hmm. But so that's so to me, Blake right at the moment has the strongest team. Right. And that's only based on my opinion. The first five episodes, Wendy is dominating fifty percent of that team. Yeah, Blake even said my team might as well be full. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's yeah. Not good from your so team. that's the first thing I I thought of. But well, I think of the other three teams. I'm trying to think who stands out on each team. We'll have to see. So when we come back next time. When the show goes next week, I think that's the last week of the, of the blind. Yeah, then, the then we'll have the 40 or whatever something people. The then we'll be we able to it. tell you who yeah. we think have the best team. Right. Then that's when we'll start with the battle. The, the um, not the battles. The, yeah, the battles. The, the, yeah, the battles. It is the battles. Then, the knockouts, then, then we the, do the battles with okay. knockouts. Well, they are going to have advisors. Oh, yeah. The advisors are back. I know Dirk Bensley's coming for Blake. Yeah, I don't know who And Kristen Chenoweth is coming for Ariana. That's really good. John has Camilla Cabello, which is tying back into that whole Latin and that whole, you know, thing there. Lord. And who am I missing? Kelly has somebody, right? Yeah. Kelly always has someone, and I'm like, oh, that's who Kelly's bringing? And, all, and then usually when Kelly picks her person, it's always he's like someone else picks the person. She doesn't really pick the person. And then... One year, she said it. Like, oh, someone suggested I have you, and whatever, and I can't think at the moment she, yeah. who Kelly's what person is, and I feel bad that I can't think of it. But, so we do have advisors coming in, and they're going to be the one that's going to advise them when they get to the, um, when they get to the battles. Which we know right. they already taped it. Right. They've already taped it, and so that should be coming up soon. They taped a lot already, Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, they usually have taped, you know, they tape a lot. They tape way in advance. People don't seem to notice that, right. and like, that's when you see them in New York. So it was how they were in New York tonight on the Tonight Show when I just saw them on shows. Like, they pre-tape everything until you get to the live shows. So, um, that's what they, that's what they do. Yeah. So, I can't think of Kelly's advisor. I felt bad that I can't think of it. But anyway. Okay. Um, so, that's where we're at. So, overall, though. Overall. Yeah. Overall, it's looking I mean, good. it's always a good amount yeah. of talent. And I always feel like I need to get past the blind auditions before I can see you always say that. Yeah. Yeah. You I always, say always that. say that. You yeah. always go, let me get this. Let me yeah, figure let me it get out. To the battles to the knockouts, then I can tell you. Yeah. But it's weird, though, because I, I want to get to the point where I remember more people from the knockout, from the battle, from the blind, I can't even say it, can't even from say the it. blind auditions. Because I can still name other contests from past seasons, and, and it yeah. should be like, you know, but then again, like I said, it's new, it's early. So, you know, right? it's one of those things. Yeah. Anything you want to say? Tevin was the guy's name. Don't want to um, say anything, no. I said all I want to say. Okay. So that's where we're at. Yep. So it's The Voice. It's on Mondays and Tuesday nights. Yeah. It's on NBC. They're doing two hours on Monday nights and one hour on Tuesdays. Yeah. And that's the lineup of the judges. And so far, each person has, what, like, seven or eight people on their teams or whatever? Yeah, something, something like that. Yeah. So we also, so now the next week, all the blocks are gone. Thank God, because you don't like the blocks. Oh, I love the blocks. I don't like the blocks. Favorites. No. I don't want you and then they can, telling someone that I can't I pick you. Steals, yeah, I don't like that. Where's the steals? I, okay, if I was on that show, I worked and worked and worked and worked. And I want Blake Shelton to be my coach. And then someone blocked me, I would be <laughs> upset. Okay, be pissed, be upset, but your goal is to get on the show. Okay. Okay, and then if somebody picks you, if somebody cares enough about you and wants you so bad that they're going to block somebody, yeah. then you be happy that you're on that show. And then when you get kicked out, maybe that person that got blocked might steal you. Oh, okay. That's your goal. You're going to get. So that is goal. true. Your but am I? But am I going to want that person who blocked me to now still be? I guess I will. You want, want to stay on the show. That's true because you want to keep staying. Yeah. yeah. So you met Ariana Grande with her millions and millions of people, her and her <laughs> big voice, you know, and her chart topping success. Pick you. That's true. Even though you want Blake, come on. Who am I fooling? If I was yeah. on the show, I'd be like, do whatever you want me to say and do. Yeah. I'm ready. I'll do it. To, I'm ready to go on there. You yeah. know. So that's what's happening with The Voice. <laughs> so yeah. we will be back. Yes. We'll be back throughout the season to tell you more what's happening. We'll tell you 
We'll finish up. We'll be back to finish off the auditions, uh-huh. and we'll come back get a little bit of what's going on with the battles, and you know what's going on with you know knockouts and anything about live shows yeah. that we that we find out about. Yep, we hear anything. We'll, we'll hear anything. We'll be back and find out. Uh, Phyllis, where can we find you on social media? Oh, social media. That's interesting. You can find me <laughs> Phyllis underscore Thomas. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. Belinda, where can people find you? You can find me. Download in season three, Amanda Brown. This is all this power. We had to look it up um, and see what her sister's going to do. At Belinda's LA Music, I'm, that's me on Twitter. That's me on Instagram. You can find me on there talking about all kinds of things. All kinds of things. And then some. And then some. So taking us out. Taking yes. us out, we have a song. It's a great song. It should be an original song that could be on this show. There you it go. Could be. You can contact us for um, information. Anyway, yeah, it's by oh, our. And if anybody wants to sponsor us, yeah, we are still free. looking for a sponsor. Right. So Lipton, if you're out there, yeah. I guess they didn't get our memo. Tasties, anyway, Lipton, wanna, um, Tasties, yeah, yeah, Tasties, those gummies, those gummy bears, yeah, we love Welch's the gummies. gummy bears, the Welch's gummies. We even take the market, the the market ones. Yeah, the marketplace, yeah. Um, market pantry, market pantry. We're not picky. Pantry. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So uh, that's we are still looking for a sponsor. And if you're still listening We're to listening if you're still hard, to our podcast, yeah. thank you for listening. Yes. Tell all your friends. It's a lot of fun to listen tell to. Tell two us. friends. And then have those two friends tell two other friends. There you go. Yeah. There you go. And um that's it. So taking this out is this song called Eden. It's by our good friends John Morgan and Dave Simiak. And that's it. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye.